this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And today I will be showing you my finished pages for July 2021. I have a lot of books here, a nice big huge pile actually that I haven't had in quite some time. I was really into the color by numbers this month, so there's going to be a lot of those, and especially of the of the three by three millimeter grid pattern type of books. So without further ado, let's get started and we are going to start with my empties and there is a bucket load of empties. This is where I keep them and it is bit almost full. So first of all, let's get out the Spectrum Noir alcohol markers. These are of a two different kinds. I don't know. One is basics and the other one doesn't say on it. So I've been using these up because I don't really have many and I don't have refills. So there's just a lot. I'm going to need two hands here. Okay, so there are three, six, there are ten Spectrum Noir markers which are finished. Then let's get out the markers that I have that cause yellowness. I am wanting to use these up rather than just chuck them away. So I'm using them on some black backed color by number pages. So I have six of these and the, the brands that I have here are Smart Art Marker and Ojofo Art Marker. And then I had a bunch of my Ohuhus run out at the same time. Oh, yeah, okay. And these all had backups to them, so I still have these colors. And it looks like those nice shades of pastel there. And then I have one Adaxi marker. This, this I keep, I keep this brand with my Ohuhus. Oh, one more Ohuhu. Then with gel pens, I have been using up my old gel pens so that I can start using the new ones that I stocked up on. So there are, whoop, that one is losing its thing, clip. So there's three, six, there's ten of these. And the brands that I've used are Ain Art. Pen and Gear, and that's it, Ain Art and Pen and Gear. And then the Crayola markers, I've used some skinnies, used up some skinnies here. So these are all the fine liner size and the two black ones come from the uh, come from the adult coloring selection here. So I've used those up. I used up one broad liner um, Crayola. This is actually from the Sensations section, or whatever you want to call it. These are Artist Loft markers, which I don't have anymore, so I used up those too. Um, Mayped. I really like these, but I can't seem to get them on uh, Amazon Canada right now, so I keep looking to see if they come back. So, yeah, I like the uh, Ocean or Jungle Pops. Two of those. And I had some Bic Intensities, or uh, one of these was, oh, these are both actually called Markings. I still have some of those. It's always a sad day when a Bic Intensity runs out, but I did have backups of both of these colors, and that is Sunset Orange and Blue Skies Blue. Uh, oops. Just dropped my vitamins on the floor so they can stay there. Um, I used up one of these double 
double-ended brush markers that are made by a whole bunch of different companies. Mine are unbranded and I don't like them. I will be giving the set that I have away minus that one that I used up. Um, I have two of these markers that I got with a children's color by number set and I, there were five and I've used up two. This is a random fine liner. It is iron lac and I used that up. And finally, I used up permanent markers. I used up a Shuttle Art, a Sharpie, and a Studio. And none of these had re uh, none of these I had backups of. So that's always sad. And it's empty! Yay! That was a lot. So let's get to the books. This is one of my ten books to finish this year. It's Fall Y'all by Tabitha L. Barnett, and I did quite a few in here. I wanted to finish off the white pages, and I did do that. So we did this one. The Halloween pages. This one. Hmm, a Thanksgiving page. Then I started in the black pages. Autumn and Halloween. So I used uh, alcohol markers on these mostly. Flowers and Whimsies, uh, sorry, Flowers and Whimsy by C.L. Aldridge. I love this book. And I did this page right here as a buddy color with Michelle's Boxes of Hues on Instagram. I used my Prismacolor pencils on here and I basically did straight coloring. Oh, a tiny bit of blending, but just one pencil blending going from dark to light. That's all I used on there. So yeah, I love this page. This is mm, probably my favorite page I did this this month. So I'd like to keep working in that or make it a book to finish next year. I did a Millie Murata page during my color and chat this month. This is Curious Creatures and I did this page partially on, on a screen, if you want to watch that. Then we have Color Questopia Trains, and this is the Color Questopia book which I am currently working in. So I'm trying to just pick one book and work in it and finish it and then do another one. So I did quite a few in here. I'm actually using my markers that make things go yellow in here. Or no, I'm not. No, I don't think I am. I'm using my Ohuhos and my permanent markers. So that one. That one. And this one. Maybe I am using, what's 19? Light blue. And I can't remember. I'm going to have to remember. Well, it didn't, it didn't bleed and there's lots of orange and yellow in there. So yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I know it's of no interest to you, I'm sure. Then I worked in what was the current issue last month of Mystery Colors. There's a new one out now. This one is American Wildlife, and this saw the beginning of the new artist that they are using in this magazine now, and I did too here. These pages are much more intricate than the, uh, the previous books in the series. So I did this one, and I did this one. Or actually, I think I just, yeah, no, the deer... The caribou I did last month. I only did this one. Unless, yeah, I just did this one. It, I'll have to tell you, it wasn't fun, but uh, 
it looks really nice. So, well worth the effort. This summer I've been working in garden gnomes and I got one page done this month. Did this one here. This has some Wink of Stella on. You can see it there. I used pink Wink of Stella for the wings and I used a white paint pen to go over the black lines and it has soaked up and become pink, which I knew it would do. And I used uh, my Ohuhus in, in here and um, some paint pen to go do the stars in the back. Then I finished this color by number book. This was not one of my top tens to finish. I just happened to finish it. This is A Day at the Circus by Satch and Satch Deva. These are the pages I finished off. For this book, I did use my markers, which turned things yellow because it had been started with them. So I did all the pages to the end here. But you can see that when you color over the yellow, it uh, doesn't show if you use dark enough colors. And there is a full flip through of the book on my channel if you'd like to look at that. I did some work in the Sherry Baldy book. My my Besties, Busy Bees, and Butterflies, book 19. And I did this one here. So this was done in my Ohuhu markers, a white gel pen, stickles, and some fine liner. So we can see the stickles are on the butterflies and bees, and there is glossy accents on the glasses. You can see the glitter there. Oh, that's actually the cover picture. I didn't even notice that. Oh, that was last month. So this is one of the summer books that I've been working in this year. Next is a book that is one of my top, one of my 10 books to finish this month. First pictures I'm going to show you are an absolute mess. It was a bad day for me and I just wanted to basically scribble down color. And that's exactly what I got <laughs> is some scribbled down color. These two pages are awful. <laughs> Let's get away from them. And then I did these two. I had to make up for the mess. <laughs> so yeah, these were fun. I like the old time characters, so. I'm getting close to being done in that book. Then, out of Flying Colors, Volume 21, I do this as a buddy color with Lisa at Coloring My Own Way, though I don't think she's caught up this month, so we will have to see if she gets... If she is caught up or if she gets herself cut up, caught up, not cut up, caught up. <laughs> so the two we did this month were easy ones. Uh, we pick random colors and I got absolutely terrible colors here. And the next one I got pretty good, pretty good colors. And this one took a bit of work, but it wasn't really that difficult. So let's see what we have next month. Okay, one of those. And, oh, pfft. Easy. Easy peasy next one. Then I have made a promise to myself that I will keep the current issue of Coloring Heaven in my cart and I will color at least one picture in it before the next issue comes. So I've colored a few pictures in here, but this month I colored this one here. And this was done with my Ohuhu's metallic, gold metallic pen. I don't know if we can see that. And the lips are uh, a glitter, not a, not a gel pen, but a glitter pen. I don't know which one. I think they're the dollar store ones, so they're pretty glittery. Next 
Next book was one of my top 10 books to finish this year, and I did finish it. I did the last two pages I had in it this month, so we did this summer one. And the 4th of July one. And the book is finished. There is a flip through of the entire book on my channel if you'd like to watch it. Then another book that I'm working on as one of my 10 books to finish this year, and I uh, have done uh, quite a bit in here, because I'm working, I'm working hard in this because I haven't paid it much attention up, up until last couple of months. So I am using my yellow wing markers in this book because I started off with them. And second, I don't like the color palettes that are chosen in here. Every single picture has orange in it, except for like one that I did, and they just use orange, red, and yellow. It's ridiculous. So I'm, I don't like this book, but I enjoy the process of looking, being, picking up a color and filling in the spaces. So, you know. So this has got orange and yellow. This has got orange, yellow, and red. Orange and yellow. Orange, yellow, and red. I think they all did this time. Orange. Orange and yellow. See what I mean? Let's check the next one. It has a seven and a nine, and I believe those are orange. I don't know who decided on the color palettes for that. It's like they put orange, yellow, and red into the mandala and then just threw in, randomly pick, randomly chose two couple of other colors to throw in there. So this is one of Alice Brockmeyer's Chibi Girls books. I did this one in here and I really like how this one turned out. This is one of my one of my better pages. It has glossy accents on the eyes and glitter on the horn. And the background was done in mm, some sort of gel crayon or gelatos. I don't think, I don't th I don't know. It, it was just either a gelato or a water dissoluble um, crayon. So that's all I did in there. Then I did my first page in this book, and I did this one, which is the first picture. I'm not thrilled with my color choices in here. Uh, I had wanted blue and orange and silver, but it just didn't really work out how I planned. There is a lot of metallic silver on there, and we have some glitter as well, if I can get that to show. The glitter is on, yeah, the glitter's on the earrings and the lips. So, I don't know. I have to try another one in there. Well, of course I will. I like that book. Okay, so, then this, I haven't worked in this book in a long time, probably a couple of years. So this is Animal Quest, Color by Number by Sun Life Drawing, and I did one in here. This book is all hexagons. So I did the ape, and I think it turned out really well. The book that I'm currently working on to complete is uh, from Belba family is Wow Animals. I did a couple in here. I did this one. Now in this book, I usually do the background in X's, the X method, if it's all one solid color, because I don't like wasting my markers for filling in backgrounds. So I use the X method for the background, and then I use uh, the normal method of filling in the squares in the foreground. So I did that one, and I did this one. 
So now this one, the background was all bunch of, whole bunch of different colors, so I filled it in, and I'm glad I did. I love this picture. I think it turned out wonderful. I really like this book. I like the colorfulness of it. I wouldn't like it if it was realistic um, animals. Well, I mean, I would do it, but I wouldn't love it. Like, I love this one because it's got patterns in the backgrounds, like... I'll show you a couple others so you can see in case you, well, I mean, you know, the donuts for this one. And, like, see how colorful they all are? Oh. This is the Coloriage Mystère book that I am currently working in by Achette Loisir. And this is called Saint Nouveau Coloriage Mystère. This, I believe, is the second book that they published. And I did this two-page spread in here. I was stunned <laughs> when I turned to a two-page spread. I didn't even know. Didn't that turn out nice? I love it. I especially love how they look on camera. <laughs> Sit here all day looking at my pictures. So yeah, just did that one because it equaled two pages. It took me a while too, I'll say. This is the current chibi book that I'm working in and I did two this month. I did this one which is an Alice in Wonderland type picture and I believe didn't use anything glittery except for the clock down there. I used, uh, I used one of those outline pens so that it it came up silver, and there's just little bits of hints of blue in it. And then the other one I did was this one. And it doesn't say anything, but I, I'm pretty sure this was a buddy color with somebody. Well, I've been writing down my buddy color, so maybe it wasn't. Hmm. I'm sorry, if you're the person that I d did a buddy color with in this, let me know. Uh, and thank you for the buddy color. I'm sorry I've forgotten who you are. Now this one just has some glitter on the sun rays. I don't know if it's going to... Oh, there you go. You can see it. Otherwise, no fancy stuff, just colored. Relax and Color non Mandalas by Sunlight Drawing. This is not a uh, color by number. It's just a normal mandala book. And I'm really working my way through this one. So I use random colors. That's just what I do with my mandalas. So I use four, four uh, alcohol markers and one glitter gel pen so I don't know if you can see the silver in there so these colors aren't that great and then this one the colors worked much better but it's boring because it's all pinks and I used a gold glitter in there if you can see it I don't think it's gonna pick it up and everybody like raves about the Ain Art Mark uh, gel pens but if I if I put down an Ain Art one, I think, oh wow, that's nice and glittery. But then I put any other brand next to it, and it's like, it's dull compared to the other brand. So I'm not too crazy about them. So I'm, I'm actually trying to use up the last colors that I have. I'm working in this one every month too. This is Mosaic Vintage Cars by Such and Such Deva. I love 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 this book. So, this month I did two. This isn't a vintage car, but a vintage form of transportation. And, oh, I think most of them are sideways in this book. And this one. Aren't they adorable? I just love a Such and Such Davis color palette. It has teal and turquoise and light lime green, watermelon, salmon. Oh, those are like my favorite color palette. And I'm also working in another Flying Colors magazine every month. I try to do two pages out of this. It's volume 13, quite an old one. Uh, it's from 2013, actually. That's how old it is. 
and where do we go? So every other page in this book is either a bird or occasionally a flower. So these hold me up if I don't feel like doing it. So I skipped the previous month because I didn't want to do this, but I did it. And then the mandala and the same routine, one glitter gel pen and four randomly chosen alcohol markers. So this turned out nice. It was uh, skin tones and pinks and purples. So let's see what's next month. Okay, birds, but this is a pattern too. So I actually like this page. Oh, and then flowers, but that'll be easy. So I'll definitely be working out of that next month. Oh, and I apologize for the squeaking of my chair. It's just squeaky. And then I try to work in this every month as well. <laughs> I have so many books I try to work in every month. <laughs> so this is Color by Numbers Happiness by Arpad Olby. And I did two out of here. I did this one. This was the first one of the, like, like this that I've done. So it was really big spaces. So I was able to do a second one this month. And this one is a diver. So I do the black borders around them. I started off that way. So I'm doing it with all the pages in the book. So I'm coming along nicely, but these are thick books, so that will take a while to finish. Then I have some PDFs, and I think I got these this month as well. This is Annie's Coloring, and this is from her Dolls book, and I did two. I had printed out three to do, but I only got to two of them. So there's this one here, and uh, her lips are a bit glittery. I made a huge, oh, I should have put glossy accents over the eye. Oh well. I made a huge mess with her mouth and I started putting down some glaze and it just blew all over the place. So she had a she had a black, black lips and black face all around it. So I scraped off. Thankfully that stuff is kind of plasticky so I was able to scrape off most of it and left some dots. So I ended up putting some dots around her face to uh, make it look like she had moles or freckles. So there's that one. So the metallic marker for the moon on her head. I don't know if it shines in the light or not. Not really. And then I did this one, which I really like. I really love this one. So, oh yeah, for this I used um, my Ohuhus, and I used my Ohuhus for this one as well. Plus for the pattern on her dress, I used Arteza Ink Onyx. And for her lips, I used some sort of glitter gel. And otherwise, there's nothing glittery. I don't automatically put glitter on my pages. I have to try and remember to do that. So I had, oh yeah, I said that already. So nice, nice book. Also using this as a book to use up stuff, so I'm using up my, I'm using up my uh, Spectrum Noirs in this book. So I did this one, this one. I stopped saying this one. And those are all I did. That's, sorry, that's 100 Magical Patterns by Jade Summer. Then I think we're just left with Color by Numbers and my Ivy and Inky. I'm saving that for the last. I'm just going to take a sip of my coffee. I'm having an iced coffee. So this is Belba Family's three color series, and this is the travel book. And this, these are my first pictures out of this book. So we did this one. I don't know what that is. It says the motherland calls, so it's probably in Germany. And then I did this one. And I really like how this one turned out. This one was fun. This is Machu Picchu. And 
next, one of my all-time favorite books now is Mystery Mosaic's Secret Patterns by Belba Family. And I really hope they come out with another pattern book because, like, of, re of true patterns, not, not mandalas. I, I finished up Party Patterns, and I was pretty sad at one point that I would finish it and they wouldn't have another book, but they came out with this one. So now I'm just feeling like, well, when this one's done, are they going to have another pattern book for me? So I did this one. And these are really fun to do. This one, the background was all one solid color, so I used the X method in the background and the straight coloring for the foreground. And then finally I did this one. So lots of fun in that book. Belba Family's newest book, which they sent to me for review, is Stone Mosaic Book 4. Can you believe they're at Book 4 in this series already? And I did two in here. The pictures in here are much more uh, detailed. Uh, well, I don't know. It's not intricate. Detailed, maybe, is the word. They're more busy. There's more, there's more things to fill in. So that one's really nice. And then I did this one. Actually, these these ones with more stones in it are a little bit harder to tell what they are. Though you can tell what that is, no problem. I also received a book from the artist to uh, give a review for. This is Greetings from Limbo by Alicia Adkins, and she is, what is her name? I was going to give you her Instagram name, but where did I find it? Was it at the back? Oh yeah, here it is. Shadows on the Wall Art. That's what she is on Instagram. So this is a uh, creepy book, which I love. So I did a creepy picture in here. This is just straight up. Uh, oh, who, who's? Oh, I used a little bit of sparkle pops on the bottom of her dress. And their lips are a uh, neon gel pen. This is Such and Such Deva's new uh, 3 by 3 book, and it is Mosaic Art Musical. And these are fun pictures in here. So we did this one right here of the DJ, if you didn't know, <laughs> right there. And this one right here. So these, these are really turning out nice. I'm not sure why she has those like winter visor glasses type things on her face. I don't know. It looks weird. So except for that. <laughs> and then got some of these are my first Jennifer Rawling books. Color by number Adorable Animals 3 by 3 millimeters. Now this is on the specialty paper. I did that one. Okay, I have to stop saying that one, this one. <laughs> it just comes normally here. <laughs> so these were really fun and they're nice. I love the colors in this one. Seventy plus cartoon characters, and these are all grid patterns as well of various size squares. Got Donald Duck. These are just randomly picked pages too, and Chip. So I actually know the Disney characters. I did quite a few pages in floral art, uh, sorry, 
Floral Mandalas Folk Art Style by Debbie Densham, and she is Color Crazy Artist on Instagram. So, these have palettes down at the bottom for inspiration. I've chosen to use them because I like using palettes. So I'm just working in order in this book. And I did this one. Okay, I just said it again. Is this... One of these was a buddy color, but I don't... Okay. So, yeah, working on these in order. And this was a buddy color with Michelle's box of hues. So I think she's the only person I buddy colored with this month. Thank you, Michelle, for the buddies. Feel free to ask again. So, Jennifer Rawlings' 80 Plus Adorable Animals. And I randomly chose these pictures, and it's funny. I'll tell you why when you see the second picture. So I was pleased with this. I like coloring insects. And the second randomly chosen page was another insect. <laughs> You don't often find insects in animal books for a start, and for me to choose, those are probably the only two in the whole book. So yeah, those are the two that I did out of there. Then we have Kira Shershneva, and this is Color by Number Quest Hexagons. So this book is just a hexagon. This is just hexagons in it. I love this one. This was a lot of fun to do. And, uh, yeah, and I just really like how it turned out. And then the other one is this. And I really like how this turned out as well. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done hexagon pictures, and I really like them. They were always my favorite in the Sunlight, Sun Life quest books. And, of course, Kira used to work for Sunlight, so. And then this is, I believe, the latest uh, Abelba Family Square Mandalas book. So this one is Floral Inspirations. And I did these just uh, last night. Or, no, a couple nights ago. So... Water-based markers. I like using water-based markers in the 3x3s, so that's pretty much what I usually do. Those are fun to do as well. This is the newest Belba Family book, I believe. Every time, you, see, you never know when you say you've got the latest book that they didn't just publish a new one. <laughs> so... This is Misty's Mystery Mosaics, Unicorns, and Mermaids, and I ended up doing one of each with my random picks. So here we have a black unicorn, which I thought was really interesting. And then, oh, they both went this way, and the mermaid. So I always use the X, I think I've said this already, that I use the X method for solid backgrounds. So that one was fun. Really different colors for your mermaid there. And now, something all of you may have been waiting for is my Ivy and Inky Butterfly book. Now this, I worked in this for the beginning part half of the month. I worked really hard in it. I kept up to date, so I've got 70 pages done. I've actually got, I think, I believe 72 pages. No, 71 pages done. We'll see. I'll keep track, see what the highest number is. But I think I have 71 pages, and at the end of July, we were supposed to have 70. So, I finished this page. I was working on this one for a long time. Uh, I hated this page. <laughs> I really did. I just did the walls and the wood. And then I just started picking out pens or gel pens or whatever and started coloring the things. 
and when I had enough colors out I stopped and I just kept using that color palette and at the end uh, so I yeah I used glitter gel pens regular gel pens um, and the whole picture is done in Tombows and what was the other thing I used no, the whole thing's done in Tombows and gel pens, and I went around a lot of uh, bottles and crystals with a white gel pen. Did both of these pages here. This one is done in various water-based markers and gel pens, some fine liners, and same with this page transferred some of the colors from this one over here. I used a gel pen on these both of these pages. Glitter, glitter gel for the dragon and, and the castle. If I can get it to... It doesn't want to pick up. Did this page. This one was already done. For this one, I used the old Brute Fooner 160s. And they are a hard uh, oil pencil. I quite like them. And then I covered the whole thing with Stickles Gel Medium in Nebula. So you can see that around the whole outside. I didn't do the words with it. Yeah, I like that. For some reason you can't see the bottom of my page shimmer. Oh, there you go. So just this page. Then I did this at the end of the month. This was my, well not the end of the month, but I did all the other pages first. And then I came back to this one and I worked on it. Did did some something one day, something the next day, next day. So I think it was over five days. Started off one day. Well actually it took me two days to work on the greenery. And then I came back and I did the table. And then I came back and I had I had a color palette, so the remaining colors that I didn't use, the orange and the green, so I used yellow, blue, and red as my other colors, and I came in and started doing flowers, and I did that for, and, and food for the next few days. So I hate these pictures <laughs> where there's a whole bunch of little diddly things all over the place. I loved coloring the flowers and the leaves, like, I'm... I'm one of those people who enjoys coloring leaves. I just, when I come to a page and it's got all these leaves on it, I just like get, get giddy that like, ooh, I get to pick out greens. And so like, I, I would, I would never have said that green was one of my favorite colors, but it must be because I enjoy coloring with them so much. So yeah, but it's like the other one where it was everything on the shelves and this time it's everything on the table. It's just like, ugh, I don't want to do those little bits. So anyways, I believe I only have two more of these, or is it only one more of this type of page in here? So I did this page and, oh, I forgot to tell you what I used. For this one, I used Faber-Castell. I used two of their pencils. I used the Black Edition and the Gold Faber. And they worked together well. And um, I don't think that the Black Edition pencils were great on this paper because they weren't as um, creamy as I've found them on other papers. But I used both of those on here. So using this book, I'm rotating through all my pencils as well. So I did this page right here, and I did that in Black Widows. And it has some glitter. Does it? Oh, it just has glitter in the little patterns on the dragons at the bottom. And I know you can't see it very well. And then there's some metallic in here. Gold metallic on stars. So yeah, I have done 72 pages. So I just did this one. The other page was done already. I used my Arteza pencils for this one. I like the uh, colors that I did the Griffins in. I especially like this color combination. Uh, it was somewhere in this book that I started writing, that I started making... Um, a notebook of my color combinations that I like. 
And then the last page that I did in here was this two-page spread, which was nothing like the other ones. This one was fine, almost all greens. And then I used some purples and blues and then put in a bright yellowish orange griffin to put some pop. There's no, no glitter or fancy stuff in here. I did use a yellow uh, paint pen to do the little thingies that are like the, <laughs> the antennas on the flowers. You know, those little things that stick out with the dot on the end. I did those all with a yellow paint pen. So, that's what she wrote. So just keep this one in here because it reminds me where I am. So this, this book from here on is all finished. Can you believe that? I think I have... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that last month I did a, a flip of the first half of this book. If I didn't, tell me and I'll go look and I will do one if I haven't done it. So that's all. Oh, well, let's leave this here. So that's all. That's everything that I've done. And I have that blurriness again. I'm going to have to check my settings and see if I can fix that for you guys. So that's all she wrote. That's everything I did, which is enough. I don't have to say just. Uh, so I'll see you guys soon. I am planning on doing a color and chat shortly. So I will see you then and uh, you'll get be getting some flip through. Uh, flip throughs as well. So, talk to you later. Bye!